Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to see love in the general for the sign of Sagittarius from 2nd to the 8th of August 2022. So watch this video if you're a Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus or if you're dealing with one. Keep in mind, these are general readings, so it may or may not resonate. If it do not resonate, do not try to deliberately fit in, check in any other placement. If you want to have a personal reading, link is in the description. If you want to follow my Instagram, the link is in the description. So now let us see message for Sagittarius. So give me the message for Sagittarius. What do my Sagittarius need to know? So we have balance, spirituality and practicality. Some of you might be dealing with a Pisces or you have strong Pisces placements in your chart. And then the second message for you is you and your loved ones are safe. So I see that some of you, um, either you are like too spiritual or probably you are too practical. You need to like strike a balance between the two. All right. So in order to live in 21st century, you need to have a balance of both. Right. So that is what this card is uh, meaning to like sometimes how people just uh, they just depend on law of attraction or manifestation or whatever or all the magic and all of that. But they do not want to like make a practical plan. So until unless you also do aligned action, which is certainly about practicing practicality you will not be able to uh, change your uh, dreams into reality right so that is what this card is saying that it is good to be hopeful and it is good that you believe in magic or universe or whatever but aligned action is also important sitting and making a plan is also important and then working on it is also important all right so that is about it and now with you and your loved ones are safe i see that some of you if there is like somebody in your family or in your close network circle who might be going through some sort of health constraints or probably you're, you're like um, worried about somebody and then this message just says that you and your loved ones are safe and you do not have to worry. Some of you I also see that the divine is protecting you, your angels are around you so seek help uh, whenever you want and uh, there is nothing to worry. Some of you, you might be dealing with a Pisces or a Cancer very strongly or you may be having these uh, placements very strong in your chart. All right now let us see your tarot messages tarot messages for Sagittarius from 2nd till the 8th of August also keep in mind time is fluid and the energy can be vice versa all right all right so give me the present energy for Sagittarius what is happening for my Sagittarius what is happening nine of swords Sagittarius you are worried about something you are having a hard time sleeping some of you you are sleep schedule is like totally fucked you are like sleeping at odd times you're waking up at odd times you are not paying attention to your eating habits uh, and you know all of this is actually stemming from something which is very hurtful you know so people when they are going through something tough in their life they start not taking care of themselves and they you know their mental health kind of take a toss and um, your life starts disorienting you know so that is what is happening with you with the nine of sword card i see that right now you are like going through something uh, some of you i see that this might not be very fresh for some of you it could be but this looks like it is uh, you know one of those situations when we are healing and we are moving on but then once in a while we get this um, flashback and this nightmare and then we like suddenly wake up in the middle of the night and we start crying you know that kind of energy i see that suddenly you have this outburst of emotions that you keep containing so you keep on faking to the world that you are doing well and you're happy and you're outgoing and all of that but then just one blow happens and then there are moments in your life where you just like wake up suddenly and then you start crying you know so it's it's that some of you you really need to like take care of your mental health some of you i also see there could be an energy of now i don't want to scare you but the witch with the nine of sword can definitely show that uh, there could be like some negative elements present around you so probably a spell or something like negative entity so if you haven't like saged your room your house for some time then you should like start doing it regularly all right so i see that with that you will be um, feeling better all right so yeah you have like taken up a lot of negative energy onto you and you are feeling drowned so probably saging uh, epsom salt bath uh, rose water bath and all of this is gonna help you 
or maybe putting that crystals in bath like amethyst can be put in water um so yeah like that's gonna help you rose quartz all right what else for my sagittarius you need to like really take care of your mental health that's a big thing for you so you have pentacles some of you if you are again you know if you're looking for help then this is a good time that you should probably look for help because there are uh you know your universe uh, angels your spirit guides are basically sending people in your life who can help you you know but you need to also be open to receive help and you should not, not like just hide yourself so you might be doing that the message is to basically come out and take help and participate cooperate collaborate with people and that's how you you're going to go forward uh some of you i also see that you might be in a training period or still in some sort of internship or like initial phases in your company i see that show your boss that you have the best teamwork ethics and i see that is going to help you right so it it is important for you to show your boss your higher authorities that you can like really uh work with people in groups and teams because right now you are like under some sort of observation and they are observing you whether you can cooperate and collaborate with people and do the work so you should show your workman uh spirit to other people wheel of the fortune at the bottom of the deck which is a very beautiful card to come with these kind of negative cards like nine of sword so i see that the wheel is going to turn around and things are going to shift for you but for that you should also like have some practical plan so that you can shift things around right which right now you might not be doing all right so that is the message moving forward with a strategic plan is highly recommended right now some of you if you're also like trying to find a good job or probably find a switch in your career or whatever then do not just talk in the air make strategies right so probably shortlist some companies uh update your resume send your resume to a couple of companies and like do some action and stop wandering right so yeah things will be taking a positive turn for you as well with the wheel of fortune and that is going to be very divinely orchestrated so wheel of fortune is when things start happening as per your destiny all the good things you know like that are lined up for you they start happening so i see that with the wheel of fortune yes your life is kind of like come down but it's also going to go up So I see that you've gone through shit load of uh, bad stuff in your life recently but you're also coming out very very strong and very quickly all right So there's going to be end to a tough cycle that you have been through and I see that you'll be overcoming all the obstacles that are thrown in your way I right, give me some love messages uh, for Sagittarius please let me put this here Give me some love messages for Sagittarius what is the present energy for Sagittarius in love So we have king of sword. See, you are looking at love very objectively. Sagittarius, you might feel like yeah, six of cups. There could also be somebody on your mind who you probably wish for a reconciliation, but you are not letting your emotions dictate you, which is again a reason why you kind of like, you know, when you try to suppress your emotions with too much logic, they kind of get collected and then one day they burst out. So that is what is happening with you, but I see that yes, there is definitely somebody who you would want to connect with it could be a water sign or an air sign but i see that you are also suppressing your emotions and you're kind of like putting a very logical argument to your own self that if this person did not care about me then why should i you know and you're like consoling your own self king of sword is where you're acting very very logically and your emotions and your logics are basically balanced so that is what i see for you like you want a partnership but you want an equal partnership you are like very logical about the fact that if somebody does not put in as much effort as you then uh, you're not going to do it for them all right so give me some energy about the person that sagittarius is having on their mind what is their feelings with sagittarius this person's feelings with sagittarius queen of wands some of you you recently have gone through a period of glow up uh or right now you are in that process and i see that somebody might be seeing you uh five of one also shows to me that this person kind of knows that they have messed up and uh some of you i also feel like a lot of people and a lot of miscommunication happened between you and this person like a lot of misunderstandings happened and all of that because of which the connection kind of got ruined some of you this person also believed on some sort of rumors 
instead of coming and asking you directly this person started believing in rumors you know uh so probably that's why this person left however their feeling towards you is the queen of wands so i see that you might be going through some sort of glow up in your life and this person is kind of observing you so you might be under somebody's um spying you know <laughs> so i see that is a one somebody is still feeling emotions for you but they kind of also know that they have messed up to a very large extent so they still feel that energy of miscommunication and misunderstanding that happened between the both of you and they might also be regretting and they are like i want a new start but then how will i do it because sagittarius is not going to listen to me you know that kind of energy this person's next action towards sagittarius please what's his next action towards sagittarius king of wands wow <laughs> some of you you might be divine counterpart energy soulmates and all of that so that is why this push and pull keeps happening see in your energy we also have six of cups in their energy we have the ace of wands and then how this person sees you is queen of wand and their next action towards you is the king of wands so yeah this person also wants to fix this with you or they would want to have a new start and i see that some of you this person might like attempt it but they also know that they have messed up so so much that it might be difficult for them so they kind of are very well aware of the challenges that you might present them with you know uh what is the outcome here for sagittarius and this person three of cups <laughs> i keep seeing a reunion energy here with the knight of cups you accept it or not sagittarius that is your decision i am not going to tell you what to do but i definitely see like somebody is going to come in you know and you also had this you and your loved ones are safe energy and then we had the wheel of fortune energy and then we have three of cups with the knight of cups which definitely shows to me some sort of celebration reunion or that conversation of um, reconciliation you know like somebody is going to give you the offer you take it you don't take it that is your decision and we also have the judgment somebody would want to repeat it with you you know that's what i see they want to repeat the cycle with you like they they do not want to let you go basically and some of you it could be this karmic tie that you have with this person with the wheel of fortune which does not let you move forward from there what is sagittarius feelings towards this person ace of sword <laughs> see your energy ace of sword their energy ace of wand you both want it that is why you know like you cannot break a tie with somebody when you both want it the tie breaks when one one person just gives up and they are like no i'm not going to be back here ever but here it's like no matter how much on the surface you both show that you don't care but deep down you both are looking for that one opportunity where you could connect and probably sit and resolve you know because both of you know that there is a potential here and you know that there was a miscommunication and things can be resolved so you have that hope and i see that you will get an opportunity right two of cups yeah see i definitely see a reunion here and a very good one actually this looks like a very balanced connection it could be one of those good person at a wrong timing kind of a situation you know what is the advice for sagittarius from 2 to the 8 of august the world card your advice is to not rush things uh keep going with the flow and uh, do not leave anything in between because i see that you might be taking up some projects or you might start something in this period but then you will be tempted to give up as well because you will see that i started it but it's going to take a lot of time to complete so let me just leave it in between don't do that all right and also do not try to accelerate the process of life everything goes at its own pace and you have to go with the flow right that's your advice for here anything else nine ones yeah and again strategically plan nine one is the energy of planning and moving forward and i see that you're not doing it yet it's like you have a lot of things on your mind that you want to do but when it comes to strategy and planning you're just daydreaming stop that like nothing is going to come from your day dreaming all right so you need to like have some solid uh, action plans give me message for sagittarius please so we have pay attention to the red flag see the signs are cautioning you and heart to heart conversation some of you i see that you will still be very much focused on all the red flags that this person showed to you in the past that you will have a hard time trusting this person this time however i do see an honest conversation coming in like somebody would want to be honest with you and they would want to like have this one on one with you 
you accept it or not is your thing but i see that happening right some of you this person might actually approach you through your friends or family if you have mutual friends then through them or maybe if they know somebody in your family then probably through them maybe a cousin or something you know all right so let's take a keeper message also for sagittarius to close off the reading occupation see again something about your career coffin <laughs> so something is changing in your career but it's changing for good right the only thing that is required from your end is to properly plan and then move forward and do not like try to daydream this is not the time to do so all right so yeah that was the reading hope this helps and resonate if it does make sure you subscribe like share comment i will see you very soon in the next video you guys take care stay safe bye